thank you, Professor Selesa, for your report and for highlighting the various achievements that the university has seen in the course of this academic year. I now have the honor of calling upon our vice, our, our chancellor rather, the chancellor of United States International University Africa, Dr. Manu Chandaria, to make his remarks. Welcome, Dr. Chandaria. Amjambu. Now, what is the problem? Do you want to graduate or not? You know, these are all unless we give it to you. Amjambu. We want the spirit and the strength of USIU. Come on. Amjambu. Good. That's nice. Uh, about a week back, I fell down from two steps. And uh, I thought, I fell on my back over here on my head, and I thought that that's the end of Manu Chandaria. <laughs> but surprisingly, there was no crack, and I'm all right. But I have to be very careful. <clears throat> our chief guests, all of our invited guests, parents, All we'd like to tell you, welcome. Today is a day which each one of you will remember all your lifetime. When I graduated, I still remember. When I did another degree, I still remember. When I did my master's, I still remember. Because those are the earmarks. They are pegs in our lifetime. Tomorrow, today, you're swimming in beautiful USIU swimming pool. Tomorrow, you're going to be in deep sea. <laughs> you know how to swim, but the capacity and interest and commitment that you want to swim in an in a ocean. That is needed. And I urge you that you can make it and you can sit at home and do nothing. Every day in our life is a challenge. And many of us are so feeling about okay Please remember, don't leave it for tomorrow. Today is the day. And unless you do it today, and expect it that I'm going to do it tomorrow, you'd never know. So my first urging to you is attention to what you are doing full attention. Yes, you will fall. Get up. You'll fall again. Get up again. But make sure that you want to be somebody and not just one of Kenyan. I like the story of uh, the pencil. And I liked because yesterday I liked the sharpening. Yesterday I attended a full day course from 8 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. And the course was cybercrime. I couldn't understand. But the major item that I understood was the cybercrime is because we have young population, number one. And most important, young population without any occupation. And these are the reasons for that. Now, I don't have to go at this age to be sitting on the, in, a, in a classroom from 
eight in the morning until four in the afternoon. But unless you sharpen, unless you make sure that yes, there is so much more to learn. And you think that, oh, now I'm, I'm a graduate. That's not enough. Life allows you to take experiments, understand, and do something. The second thing I'd like to tell you is that, you know, all of you have done some social work. I think one of your semesters you must have done, otherwise you'd not be graduating. That was for the course. I would like you all to continue. Today, after 54 years of Kenyan independence, when you think about it, 50 years, think about it. 40% plus are below poverty line. Our children go to sleep with half a meal a day. Who is going to come and change that? You can change it. But don't think that it was academic course and that's the end of it. Be concerned about the society. Be concerned about our people. Take off a little bit of time. Teach them if necessary. Plant some trees if you, whenever you've got the time. There are so many things that you can do to make a life better in Kenya. Unless you do it, and we expect you to do it, the change cannot come. Change starts with you. And unless and until you are prepared for this change, the ambitions, the ideas, the plans, that are all secondary. The first determination, I want to change. I want to change my country. I want to change my people's situations. I want to change the Africa's continent that we, where we are born. Unless you have that kind of capacity, the vision, you cannot. And we made this very special that every, every graduate will spend time for social services. And this is what I think we can change. And many a times you all think that, how much can you go? You might say, maybe nine to five. Maybe nine to 10 at night. Let's not put limit to time. Time is all with you. It all requires determination and capacity to push yourself. Unless you push, you don't get the results. And I think that when we say that we are three in East Africa, in Kenya, what does it mean? To hear that you are number three, that's a huge prestige. Now, we don't want you to go back and next year we become number four because the graduates of USIU did not prove themselves. Please, a request. Now that you are graduating, you have a responsibility to USIU to lift them, to see where you can help and see how you can make a better impact in our country. And this is a necessity. Now, all I would like you now to get up and give a, a warm this to all the guys who are sitting over here, especially your teachers and your professors. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It must be orchestrated. One, two, three. Right? No. Come on, Choma. One. That's, thank you. Thank you.
Don't, don't sit down. And I want you to thank your parents who are sitting there. That you can do which way you want. Come on. The way you want. Please thank you. Thank you. I wish you well. The journey ahead is not easy, but it's not an impossible. So I want you to make sure that each step you take, we want impact. We don't want a step taken unnecessary. And I wish you well. Thank you.